everyone, welcome back to the Yoga Squared YouTube channel. I'm Casey. For this class, you're gonna need a couple props. So take a moment to grab yourself either a couch cushion or a pillow that's like a rectangle shape, and then a rope tie or a belt that you can use to loop around your foot when needed. So let's go ahead and pause the video, grab what you need, and we'll meet on our backs in just a sec. Okay, great. So let's go ahead and take your pillow. You're gonna place it lengthwise on your mat. Scooch it close up towards your low back, and then lay down on the pillow or cushion so that way it's lining your spine, soles of the feet together, and then we'll let our hands come right by our hips. Shoulders curling around the cushion. Allowing yourself to get nice and cozy. Spinal column curling around the edge of the pillow. Closing your eyes. And allowing yourself to breathe slowly and mindfully. With your exhale, feel yourself giving way to gravity. I'm starting to tune in to not necessarily what you're thinking, but the manner that you're thinking in. So are your, are your thoughts kind of stampeding through your mind? Maybe your mind is kind of quiet. Maybe there's multiple thought streams happening at one time. Or maybe a single thought on repeat. Notice if the energy of your mind matches the energy of your body. this you know, wild trampling thought going through your brain, it's probably hard to settle down physically. So if you've got the same thought on repeat, it might be difficult to focus in on what's happening with your physical body. Start to allow your breath to be the neutralizing function for your brain. So whatever your brain is doing, see if you can start to create a breath that sends you to neutral. Maybe starting to incorporate the ujjayi breath. Filter in through your nose and softly seep out through the nostrils. Good. And then start to bring the arms up and overhead, stack one palm on top of the other. Readjust your shoulder blades so that way you're comfy on the pillow. And while your hands get a little bit heavier into the floor, almost like you know, you're pushing your top hand into the bottom hand a bit, I want you to imagine that your breastbone is getting lifted up. So we're exaggerating that forward arc of the spine. Start to pull the elbows into neutral. Make fists so you're pointing the elbows upward and putting the knuckles on the ground. I'm going to push. 
push the knuckles into the floor and keep your elbows moving in towards one another so they're not bowing out, they're pulling in so that way you can see each elbow, you're looking straight ahead. Notice if your shoulders move up towards your jaw, just slide those down. And start to roll your eyes up so that way you can try and see your wrists. You might even lift the chin up. This idea is going to come in handy later. Good. Start to lift your hands up to the sky, bring your chin back to neutral. Spread out through the fingers. Lift your shoulders away from the pillow and then exhale, pull them back down. Good. Inhale, pull those fingers up. Shoulders come forward. Exhale, draw them back down. Good. Start to lift your fingers up. Close the knees together and start to lift the fingers up, 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 up until you come all the way up into a seat. Bring your elbows by the top of your head. Open up through your knees and start to bow forward. Keeping the spine nice and long. So you don't want to be rolling forward just yet. Pull your tailbone back and get the low back to be spacious. Inhale, feel yourself get a little bit further forward with the crown of the head. And exhale, bring your belly closer to the heels. Good. We'll start to lift ourselves up to seated. Lean back, cross your ankles. Start to lift your arms up to a T, so that way they're level with the floor. We're going to start to turn to the left. Working to get a straight line, so that way your arm is going the same direction as your mat. Back to center, inhale. Over to the other side, keep those arms level. Good. Inhale back through center. Twist deeply through your low waist, and then let's take your twist. You're going to drop that left hand down, so just push that out of the way. That way it's not where you need to be. And I'm going to flip my right palm so that way it's facing forward, press into my right wrist, and get a little bit deeper of a twist. Good. Inhale, lift the chin a little bit. Exhale, twist a little deeper. One more time. Inhale, lift. Exhale, twist. Gaze is going to come forward as that right hand floats up, palm facing down. Left arm goes over. Wrapping up into our eagle arms. Pull the elbows away from you so that way they're level with the floor. Pinkies draw towards the wall in front of you. Good. Inhale, lift your fingers. Exhale, draw the elbows down. Good. Inhale, lift through the fingers. And exhale, pull the elbows down. Lift the arms back to neutral so the upper arms are parallel with the floor. And then just start to lean back. Unhook those legs. Come into boat pose with your arms wrapped up in the eagle arms. Press your breastbone into your upper arms. Legs are glued together. And then try and bring your shoulders down your back. Good. Very nice. Let's start to come on back. Put the other leg in front, if you can remember which is which. If not, no worries. Start to twist yourself over to the right. Looking back over those fingers. Arms stay level. Back to center. Inhale. Exhale. Twist the other way. Look over those back fingers. Good. Back to center. Inhale. Twisting to the right, exhaust your range of motion, and then let's put your hand down, looking over your back shoulder, and then flip that left palm forward so that way you're using your back and your low waist to twist rather than the strength of the bicep. Making your middle as narrow as possible with each breath out. Start to look back towards center, float the left hand up, right arm goes on top, wrap it up into your eagle arms, so inhale, lift those fingers, exhale, squeeze them down. 
Inhale, lift. Exhale, squeeze them down. All right, inhale, lift to neutral. So right arm, or right angle with arms rather. Lean back, find your Navasana. Diagonal line with the spine. You're looking up towards the ceiling or towards the top fingertips. Keep those toes flexed, you're doing great. And start to release, cross your ankles, let's come forward into tabletop. Belly will drop down right away, come into your cow pose. Beautiful, exhale, round everything upward, curl the chin in towards the chest. And inhale, belly down, look forward. Exhale, rounding upward. One more time. Inhale down. Exhale, round. Good. To neutral we go. Bring your left hand to the midline. Right arm reaches up and let's start to circle the arm around. Big giant oval. Other way. Really trying to get towards the poles of all directions. And we'll start to let this right arm circle all the way back. Find the floor, and you're gonna to start to square the shoulders off. So that left thumb gets really heavy. I'm gonna lock out my left elbow, maybe look back. Good, inhale, come back up to neutral. Look over that right hand. Exhale, left hand down, right arm lifts as you take an in breath. Exhale, thread the needle. Right arm down, left arm sweeps up to the sky right away and tucks to your low back or your hip crease. Left shoulder sliding down and away from the jaw. Lots of length on the left side of your neck. Good. One more full inhalation. Exhale, slow release down. Bring your left hand forward. Unhook the right arm. Let's find ourselves in our puppy dog. Relax your chest down, maybe your chin too. If you find that your chest is hovering above the ground, lift up a little bit and put your forehead on the floor instead. Shoulder blades are moving away from the shoulders, so they're trying to slide towards the, the pelvis instead. Try and pull your low belly in. Take an inhale. Exhale, just slide yourself back, child's pose. Good. Inhale, roll your way up into tabletop. Left arm reaches up to the sky and let's start to circle it out. Taking up as much space as you can with that circling motion. Perfect, other direction. Next time the arm sweeps back, we're going to lean our way back, looking over our left fingertips, letting them tip down to the floor, square your shoulders and try and drag the right thumb back towards the floor, straightening the right arm out. Good. Inhale, back up, looking over the left fingertips. Exhale, hand down, you're going to lift that left hand up to the sky and then thread the left hand underneath you. Threading the needle, right arm reaching up to the low back or hip crease right away. Working to stack those shoulders. Good. One more inhale. Exhale, unwind, nice and slow. Bringing the hand forward. Unthread your left arm, coming into your puppy dog pose. This time you have the option to tent the fingers, coming on to the fingertips. Okay, maybe set the chin on the floor and continuing to get heavier between the space, between the shoulder blades. Take another breath in, get those shoulders away from your neck. And 
exhale, pull your way back, find child's pose. And inhale, get nice and long. Exhale, walk your hands over to the right. Spread your ribs off to the left side of the room. Try and push the floor away with the right hand. Good. Come on back to center as you inhale. Exhale over to the other side. So I'm going to slide my weight off to the right, push the floor away with my left hand. Good. Back to center with an inhale. Nice deep breath out. And inhale, roll your way up into tabletop. We'll tuck the toes underneath you. Find downward facing dog and if you need to scooch that little pillow back before you get settled in, take care of that so that way it's not in our way later. Good. Try and get your weight back into your heels. Slide those shoulders down. And allow yourself to get nice and cozy in a very simple shape. Focusing on how long you can get your spine. So think about getting those hips a little higher, but then tuck the tailbone underneath you just a little bit so you feel the low belly kind of cave in. And that'll cause your shoulders to kind of move towards the ear. So you've got to kind of grow the neck out of that area. So you have this really nice diagonal shape in your body. Good. We're going to take another breath in. Exhale, walk your hands back to the feet. Bend through the knees if you need to. And start to wrap your arms around your shoulders. Gripping onto those shoulder blades, creating more space back there. And feel free to bend the knees if you want. And exaggerate your inhales so you get a full sensation with each breath in right there between the shoulder blades and in the upper rib cage. Good, another breath in. Exhale, release the hands down. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold. Start to bring your hands the opposite arm on top. Walking those fingers closer onto the shoulders. Tip your tailbone upward, a little bit more weight in the toes maybe. Good, another breath in. Exhale, release the hands down. So inhale, lift your hands to your shins, get long through the spine. And exhale, fold again, reach the fingers up as you interlace the fingers and bring the knuckles upward to the sky, hugging the shoulder blades together, letting your head shake out long. I think I just heard the thing pop that I've been waiting to pop for like four days. Yay! It's the small joys in life. Oh. One more big breath in. Exhale, slow release. Yes, make sure that your robe tie or belt is somewhere where you can reach it. And inhale, lift up halfway again. Exhale, walk your hands back out into a downward facing dog. Left foot steps to the midline, right leg lifts skyward, bending through the knee, turning the knee upward. You can stay here and be still if that feels good to you or start to move through the knee if that feels better. Taking some big slow circles, but shoulders stay level and still. Good, opposite way. Very nice. So to reach your foot back up to the sky, turn the toes down. And as you exhale, bring your knee towards your nose and see if you can step your heel down first. So we will use your belly for that to happen. So on our low lunge, we're gonna locate our strap. Super glam, fuzzy sheep, robe tie. And start to spread it wide. So that way it's a little bit wider than your shoulders, but it's not so much that you can take the arms back like this. You want it just wide enough so that way if you start to bring the arms back, there's a stopping point. 
Feeling this expansion through the chest, I want you to lean your head back into that space. Good. Really start to bring more weight into the front foot, but then pick down through the front heel so it sends your weight backward. Good. Another inhale. Exhale. Put the strap down. Hinge your weight back. Find your half splits. Toes moving towards the collarbone. Flicking the tailbone up. Feel your sides getting longer. And maybe you start to fold your way down a little deeper. Keep pulling those toes towards the forehead. Good. Weight starts to move forward. Arms will reach up to the sky. Interlace your hands and make a fist. Squeeze the biceps by the ears and then start to slide them back. Bend at the elbow so if you have something tied onto your wrist, I'm going to lean my head back into the void, trying to find that corner of the ceiling and the wall with my eyes. Relax your shoulders down. Don't let them meet the ears. Good. Exhale. Slow release. Tuck that back toe. Take an inhale. Exhale, slide right leg back up, find three-legged dog. Good. You can tap it down, find down dog again, or we can hinge forward to a vinyasa. Option to keep the heel flowing. Moving back and downward facing dog. Very, very nice. Full breath in through the nose. And full breath out. Right foot steps to the middle. Left leg floats up. Then open up through the hip. Knee moves upward. More weight into that right heel. Option to start to move around with that left knee. Very good. Other way. Now start to extend your leg up. Level off through your hip, toes face down. Exhale, knee to nose, heel comes down first. Drop that back knee, find your strap. And let's get ourselves into that position that we were in before. Elbows are straight and we're pulling those knuckles back. You should feel most of the opening up here in your upper back, not down here. You want to really expand through the upper back instead. Good. If you feel somebody kind of pushing that space between the shoulder blades forward. And as you exhale, bring the hands down, hinge your weight back, half splits. Try not to round too much in the back. Three more breaths here. See if you can pick that heel down a bit. Get more opening through the hamstring. And we'll start to move our way back into that low lunge. Arms reach up by the ears and release the fingers the awkward way. Walk through the elbows, but then try and pull the biceps back so they're behind the head. Now bend through the elbows. Arc up and over a big barrel, letting your head come back into that space. Elbows are squeezing towards the midline rather than bowing out. Just like before, remember we were pushing our knuckles into the ground. Good. Inhale, arms reach up, nice slow extension. Hands come down as you exhale. Inhale, lift that back knee. Exhale, step back, find downward facing dog, lifting the left leg up. Option to tap the foot down or move through vinyasa, you pick. All the way back to downward facing dog. Very good. Full breath in through the nose. And full breath out through your mouth. Again, full breath in through the nose. 
and full breath out. Take an inhale, start to look forward. Bend through your knees, we'll walk, step, or jump to the top of your space. Jumpers, lots of weight in your fingertips. Inhale, lifting up halfway, fingers in line with toes or on your shins. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, coming to rise up. Good. Hands come to heart center. Keep your big toes together. Find your mountain pose, dropping your tailbone down and feeling this lifting motion through the front of your body. Collarbones are wide. Arms start to drop down as the seat sends its weight back. Find your chair pose. Good. Try and bring those thumbs back, but then close the ribs in so the belly starts to engage. Good. Inhale. Exhale. Start to bring your hands to your heart. Send your weight into your heels a little bit more. We're going to bring our right elbow to our left thigh. Pushing into your left hand, looking up. Keep those knees even. Good. Inhale, unwind. Exhale, twist the other way. Left elbow finds right thigh. Don't let those legs race ahead one of another. Keep them glued together. Good. Unwind as you inhale. Exhale. Fold your way down. Good. Inhale. Lift up halfway. Exhale. Take your vinyasa or let's go back to down dog. You can jump or step. All meeting in down dog. Left foot steps to the middle and right leg lifts up. Opening up through your hip just like before. Turning the knee skyward. So let's drop your left forearm down. Good. Really focusing on getting more opening through that left thigh, but also through that left shoulder. So try and bring your left ear in line with your left bicep. Good. Start to straighten out your leg and your arm at the same time. Leveling off through your hip. Take an inhale. Exhale, step through. Find warrior one feet. Good. Arms will reach up to the sky. Try and balance your weight between both feet. Good. Full inhale. Exhale, release your hands back. Take airplane arms. You lift the fingers upwards, squeeze the shoulders together. Good. Start to join the hands together, interlacing the fingers, expand through the chest. Think locust in the upper body, keep that back leg straight. Full inhale. Exhale, start to humble down, slide that right shoulder to the inner right knee. Maybe look back at that left ankle. You don't want to let your hands point off to the right. You see what I'm doing here? We just pull them straight up. Yeah. Good. Keep hugging that right hip in. And exhale, slow release of the hands. Put them on the inside edge of your foot and start to ease your way down. Imagining your forearms could touch the floor. Good. From here, we're gonna find dolphin. So if you're already with your forearms on the floor, you are there just ready to slide that foot back. Otherwise, you might wanna to come to down dog first and then lower down. Good. Push your head through your biceps. Try and press through your wrist creases without letting the collarbones crowd the jawline. Good. Inhale, lift those elbows up. 
Exhale, settle back into down dog. Left foot steps to the midline again. So same side. Right leg lifts upward. Open up through your hip. We're gonna tip our weight into wild things. So start to rotate your left foot to the back of the mat. Right arm reaches up, circles back. I want you to cup your head. Lean your head back into your hand. Good, another breath in. Exhale, unwind. You're gonna bring your knee to your nose. Flick that right foot off to the left. Find fallen star. Left arm reaches up to the sky. Let's bring it up and over by the ear. Good. And let's start to bring your hand down. Stepping through, back into a lizard pose. Dropping your back knee. Good. Stay on your hands if you want, or come on down to your forearms, just like we did before. Look forward. Think length through your spine. And start to circle your right arm around. Reach for that toe. And start to pull it in, but don't round your shoulder forward. It's still opening up. Heel down through that left forearm more. So good. One more breath. Exhale, release. Good. And keep your left toes tucked. Come on up. Straighten that right leg. Inhale, balance. And start to replace your right foot on the floor. Circling your weight back. See if you can find that left hand on the left heel. Good. If you feel like you need a little bit of extra balance, you can step your foot in a little bit. And have a bent leg instead. Like so. Good. Keep breathing. And we'll start to come out slowly, bend through your knee. Hands come back to lizard. Tuck your back toe. Straighten that back leg. Take a full inhale. Exhale, walk your weight over to the left, so turn everything to the left. Expanding through the chest, getting nice and long for a halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Walking your hands through your legs, pulling the nose to be in line with the knees. More weight in the toes. Good. Inhale, lift up halfway. Put your elbows on the ground. So you got to bend your knees maybe in order for that to happen. And then tap yourself on the shoulder blades and pick your elbows into the floor. Good. Another breath in. Exhale, slow release. To lift yourself up halfway. Bend through that right knee and turn the toes forward, rolling your way up into warrior two. Good. Soft, soft, soft elbows and shoulders. Radiate out through your fingers. Inhale, reverse. Stay low in that front foot. Focus on spreading out through the right side of your body. And exhale, find side angle. Good. Now from here, I want you to hold on to a tray. Okay, plug that in. I'm gonna to start to scoot my elbow forward and up this way. We're gonna remember this motion later. So thumb is back, notice that. I'm gonna scoot my elbow forward Tap myself on the shoulder one more time. Hold your tray, thumb is back. Scoop your elbow forward. 
Tap yourself on the shoulder. Good. Come on back. Straighten your front leg. Reach for your front toe. Ooh, that was a nice little pop in the hip there. Find your triangle. Good. One more inhale. Exhale, bend through your knees. Find warrior two. Inhale, reverse. And exhale, cartwheel your hands down. You can go back to down dog. Flip through a vinyasa or even hop through a bunny hop if you wanted to. All good. Very nice. Meeting in downward facing dog. Let's start to step right foot to the midline. Left leg lifts up to the sky. Open up through your hips. Good. Extend that leg back and step through between your hands. Find warrior one. Everything moves to face forward. Arms and legs are equally strong, even though the arms are not supporting any weight. Full breath in, lift through those fingers. Exhale, swing the arms back. Lift the pinky fingers and the chest. Shoulders slide back. Keep this length, but join the hands together. Expand through the chest. And start to let your head bow down as the left shoulder slides to the inner knee. Looking back at your ankle without pointing the fist to the left. Fist is facing directly up. You've got to hug your left hip into the midline and let the crease of your neck relax. No need to look forward. Look down. Actually, look backward. <laughs> that way you can see your right toes. Good. Big breath in. Exhale, slow release down. Hands come to the inside edge. See if you can melt down to those forearms. Good. Big opening on that left hip. And we start to sneak our weight back. Find dolphin. We're not looking forward at the thumbs. We're trying to get our weight through the biceps without bringing the jaw to the collarbones. Good. Start to lift your elbows up one at a time or both at the same time. Step your right foot back to midline. Left leg lifts again. Open up through your hip. Tipping over into wild things. So turn those toes to face the back. Drape your left hand back and start to cradle your head. And see if you can start to push your pelvis and rib cage a little higher. Making a U shape with your body. From your right foot to your right hand. Good. Unwinding. Start to bring your knee towards your chest. Shoot it off to the side. Bring your right arm up, fall in star. Maybe up and over by the ear. Good. Hand comes down. Slide that foot back. Find the lizard. Dropping that back knee down. Coming out of those forearms. If you can. No worries if not. Start to maybe circle hand back, reaching for the toes, pressing down through that right forearm a lot, and don't let that left shoulder round forward. It's still finding that stack over the right one. Good. Releasing your foot nice and slow. 
hands come down. Walk your weight back. Keep the toes tucked. Now, if you want, you can walk this foot in so it's more like a lunge. Otherwise, the left leg stays straight. And I start to arch my way back. Let me modify camel. Bum is heavy. Good. Lifting your weight back up. Use your belly. Ooh. Bend back into your front knee. Lift that back knee up. And start to turn yourself quarter turn to the right. Finding your wide legged forward fold, facing the right side of your room. Lifting up halfway, inhale. And exhale, walk your hands through. Trying to pull your weight inward. Good. More weight in those toes. Halfway lift as you inhale. Bend through your left knee. We're going to turn everything forward so when we're ready for warrior two. A nice full bend of that front leg. Balanced out with weight through the back foot. Reversing as you inhale. Good. Exhale, find side angle, forearm to thigh. Now I'm going to serve a platter on the other side. So I have my right thumb facing back. I'm going to start to circle my arm forward, tap myself on the shoulder, return back to my serving tray. Bring it forward, tap yourself on the shoulder, come back to your serving tray. One more time. Bring it forward, tap, and come back down. Back to warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Good. Exhale, come on back. Straighten through your front leg. Reach, reach, reach. There's that other pop. That felt so good. Lifting your chest up towards your hand for triangle. Good. Inhale, back into warrior two. Reverse for one breath. Exhale, hands come down. Flowing through vinyasa or meeting in downward facing dog. Good. Full inhale and full exhale. One more time, full inhale, full exhale. Left foot steps in the midline. Right leg lifts up. Good. Stepping to lizard. Good. Drop that back knee. Get low again. As low as you can go. Out down in your back. We don't want any rounding, and you'll see why in a minute. We want that opposite shape, so press your chest down. Good. Now start to come onto your hands. Hinge your weight back and start to let your hips come down on the inside edge of your foot. Flexing through your right foot. Scoot yourself to neutral. You can stay right here and continue to stretch with your quad like this or start to come down to your forearms or all the way down to your back. I like to take my time. Sometimes it helps to scooch your hips forward. Oop, I found my pillow. <laughs> you can always put that underneath you if you want. So you're welcome to keep this right leg straight. Or put the right foot on the floor. I like the right foot on the floor personally. Maybe bring your arms up overhead. If you find the depth that works for you, got to be something that you can sustain and you don't want to feel any pulling or burning or pressure in your knee. In your quad, okay. Knee, no. Also, your knee has to stay on the floor. So if it's lifting or hovering above the floor, you've gone a little bit too far. Come back up a little bit. Finding a 
We can just feel our breaths here. This is really going to help out with where we're headed. Good. If you're on your back, let's start to make your way up to your forearms. Helping your weight up. If you need to go off to the right a little bit, that's fine. Lean your weight off to the right. We're going to swing our left leg around, crossing it over, and then hinging this foot in. Okay. Left foot is in front. Inhale, lift my arms up, and take your twist over to the left. So you can use your elbow as a you know leverage point, or you can reach down for your heel and go from there. Good. Take another inhale. Exhale, twist just a little more. And start to look forward. I'm going to swing this leg around. Get yourself ready for pigeon. And you'll have your strap handy. Okay. So go ahead and keep your foot in towards your, um, in towards your groin rather than having it all the way up. More towards your hip crease. Get low and happy and cozy. Good. Letting those hips relax downward without tipping your weight off to the right. I'm going to take about three more breaths here. And start to walk your hands inward. Looking back over your shoulder. Reaching back with that left hand. So you can find your foot. So we'll start here. Okay. You can let your foot be heavy into the hand or you can pull it in close. So if you're able to pull it in close, you might consider making a fist with your hand. You're going to kind of punch your fist forward. And then the foot goes into your elbow crease. Okay, so there's layer one of a few layers. Okay, next layer would be mermaid, where we start to swing our arm back and around. Keep pulling your chest forward. Push your head into your elbow crease there. Now start to release whatever you have, and I'm going to show you how to do an overhead grip. So you may need to be able to use the strap. If not, there's a way that we can do it without the strap, and we actually already did the motion inside angle. So this will look familiar, but it's a little bit trickier this way. All right, so we're going to pretend right here's our front leg from side angle. Here's our back base leg. I'm going to make my little tray, okay? I'm going to grab onto my pinky toe side of my foot like Pac-Man, okay? Top thumb finds my foot. I'm going to start to scoop my elbow forward. Remember doing that? Scoop it, scoop it, scoop it, and then try and pat yourself on the back. Good. So if that doesn't work, you have your strap. So lasso it up. And the motion is the same. Where I take my elbow, I scoop it forward, and then maybe I'm able to join my hands here. Keep your elbows squeezed together. Good. Feel free to pause the video and give it a couple attempts so that way you're able to give it a try. If the first time you try an overhead grip, it's kind of feels like your shoulder gets stuck, right? Like it's not going to move. You got to really think about this scoop up and forward, okay? So you're not like dislocating your shoulder. You're actually doing almost like a shoulder roll like this, right? Same idea. 
Okay, when you're all done, go ahead and release whatever you have. Tuck the toe and let's come back to downward facing dog. Feel free to shake out your right leg if you need to. Take a vinyasa or a wild thing or just be in stillness. Left leg is going to lift up to the sky and step it into lizard pose. Good. Roll off your back knee. Good. Sit nice and low. Full length of your spine. Good. You can start to come up onto your hands. Inch your weight backward. And we're going to start to set our hips on the inside edge of our foot. So scoot your right foot out so that way you're not sitting on your heel. Option to stay just like this. You don't need to go any further if this works. And again, no pressure here allowed. Easing your way down into a depth that works for you. Each side has its own agenda. Take your time. Left leg can be straight or bent. Long and dry breath. Start to ease your way back up. Take your time. Good. You can lean your way off to the left, and this right leg is going to swing on top. And start to scoot your left leg underneath you. Getting vertical through the spine first. Arms will reach up by the ears with a full breath in. And exhale, twist. Maybe reaching for that bottom ankle or heel. Trying to exaggerate your twist. Good, another inhale. Exhale, slow unwind. And start to swing our right leg back. Come into your pigeon pose and let your left heel be towards your right hip crease. And the reason for this is, is that the back bend is more doable if you're in this position. If you start to scoot your foot forward, to me, it's just way too much on the hip to do that and the back bend. That's my opinion. But that's also my opinion based upon my body. So <laughs> you can take it or leave it. But you never want to feel any sort of like um, anything that feels like it could lend towards over, overdoing. Okay. Overdoing in muscles and tendons is not good. Better to be patient. Hold longer in a shallower position. Come on back up nice and slow. 
looking back over your right shoulder. Reach back, see if you can find that right foot. Start here. Foot easing back to begin, slowly pulling it in a little closer. Good. If you want to go a little bit further, make a fist with your hand and then just punch your fist forwards. That way the toe slides into your elbow crease. Start there. You might be able to reach back, make contact, and try and bring your gaze back forward. Push the back of your head into your left forearm. Perfect. Okay, here comes that overhead grip. So I'm gonna serve my platter, hands facing up. I'm gonna reach for my back foot like Pac-Man. Thumb is on top of the sole of my foot. My elbow bends, it's going to scoop out to the right, lifting up, trying to tap myself on the shoulder. Be able to reach back and find it with both hands. Try and bring your elbows towards one another. Take your time. Feel free to use your strap instead. Try to release it with control. Try it easier said than done. Boing! Bringing your hands down. And you bring your way back in the down dog. Feel free to shake out that left leg if you need. Or take one last vinyasa. Good. Full inhale. Full exhale. Good. Full breath in. And full breath out. Feel free to ease your knees down to the ground. Legs together. Belly to thighs. Bring your hands back, palms facing up. Coming into a little rock shape. The traditional child's pose. From here, you can take another 10 breaths here in this rock shape. You can start to roll your way forward onto the crown of your head, holding on to the back of the heels. Or if you have any other inversion in your practice, like headstand or forearm stand and handstand, and you're able to do it safely without the support of a wall, you're welcome to go ahead and do that now. Even being right here is great. more breaths wherever you are. So to let your feet come down if they're lifted upward. Good. Coming back onto your heels. Grabbing onto the knees. Curling the back towards the back of your mat. Inhale, sit up tall. And start to sweep your feet out from underneath you. Feet are facing up. Arms reach up by your ears. And exhale, reach your way forward. Grab onto the outside edges of your feet. And pull the crown of the head towards the tops of your feet. Shoulder blades are pulling down and away from the neck. And all of my attention is moving into my low back. Even though my hamstrings are obviously participating, think about opening your back. And your inhale can really enhance that. And if you think about sinking in your exhale, you'll get even more release through your sacrum. Start to sit up tall as you inhale. You'll scoot yourself forward so you're at the top of your mat. Good. Arm 
arms reach forward as you take a deep breath in. And exhale, roll the spine down, one moment at a time. Getting deep into your chest. Flexing through the feet, rocking side to side on your low back. Massaging out that bone right above the pelvis. And you start to circle out through your knees. Rest on your belly. Arms come out to a T. Keep your legs tucked up in close. Just let them drop off to the right. You take your right shoulder, scooch it out from underneath you, and look over to the left. Everything is starting to let go now. Roll our way back to center. Keep the knees up and close to the chest and drop them off to the left. Scoot your left shoulder out from underneath you, looking over your right fingertips. And moving your way back to center. Reach up for your big toes or the outside edges of your feet, finding happy baby. Letting the knees relax towards the ground, feet face the sky, and shoulders draw down away from the jawline. And if your tailbone starts to lift up, let's press that back down into the floor. And we'll start to open up one leg and then the other. Unite the soles of the feet together. Wrap your hands around the outside edges of your feet and start to hug them in close. And keep your head on the ground or lift the head up, connecting the head to the feet, creating a circuit with the body. Big breath in and exhale, release everything to the floor. Finding a position that feels comfortable and renewing to you. Eyes are closed. No effort at all in the physical body. The more you can unclog the physical body, the stronger signal you send to your mental and emotional body to stop spinning and to just stop and be. a little bit fuller. And 
don't need to change anything in your body and so let it be completely unplugged and relaxed. Just fill it more. With each successive inhale, the breath moves into somewhere new. Allowing yourself to feel like you've been brought back to life. Renewed, refreshed. Begin to open and close the hands, wiggle the toes, spread out through the fingers. And bring your arms up and back behind you, far through the back, point through the toes. Bring the knees slowly into your chest. Rocking side to side on your low back. Tipping off to one side, pause there. And take your time coming up into a comfortable seat. Hands will be at your heart. And thank yourself for pushing yourself beyond your limits. bravery and perseverance to go beyond what's comfortable. Take a full breath in through your nose and a deep breath out through your mouth. Bowing the chin down into the chest. And I want to thank all of you for being here again on our YouTube channel. Your loyalty and generosity and just overall good juju is just really, it's keeping me going. So thank you so, so, so much from the bottom of my heart for being here. If you'd like to continue to support the online platform, there's several different ways to send over um, your payment for your attendance today. You can go onto our website um, to yogasquared.com and select the online attendance banner. That's a $5 donation um, for that option. If you'd like to send a different amount, or use Venmo, you can send something over via Venmo to Casey Merkling, that's C-A-S-E-Y-M-E-R-K-L-I-N-G, or you can send a transfer directly from your banking app using the Zelle widget. You would use yogasquaredstudio at gmail.com for the routing email. You're also welcome to use an existing pass. If you sign onto the schedule, onto the YouTube um, schedule on the thing, it'll allow you to sign in that way. Um, and we can reactivate your membership if you haven't done so already, if you wanted to use an existing membership for online. No matter what, we're glad you're here. I can't wait to be able to see you in person very soon. Thank you so much for your support of small business. It just fill, fills me up with hope and joy. So thank you so, so, so much. Stay healthy and we'll see you soon. Namaste.